Breaking news coming in the last couple of minutes. It's been officially announced the executive chairman of TKO, Vince McMahon, is selling 8.4 million of his current shares in TKO. To put that in perspective, that's about 30% of the company's shares he currently holds. And there have been rumors that the key stakeholders in the business, Ari Emanuel, Mark Shapiro, are interested in buying his shares. This could be one of the first signs that Vince McMahon is about to exit, not just WWE, but TKO overall. Plenty of details on his developing and breaking news story. Plus, we have the ratings for Wednesday's edition of AW Dynamite on TBS. Hey guys, welcome back to Rest News 365. Hope everyone is doing very well. As always, there are plenty of news stories to get into in the world of professional wrestling. Now, we had just finished the latest news video talking about profitability, finances in all elite wrestling. We've got a major update when it comes to finances of TKO Group Holdings. Of course, that being the merged company of WWE and UFC under the Endeavor umbrella and possibly the beginning of the end when it comes to Vince McMahon and his involvement in the company or at least on a much grander scale because it's been announced again. Again, just in the last couple of minutes of the time recording this video, the story's broken about 10 minutes or so ago that Vince McMahon is selling a huge amount of his current stock. Now today, TKO uh, issued the following press release from New York saying, quote, TKO Group Holdings, a premium sports and entertainment company today announced that one of its stockholders, Mr. Vincent K. McMahon, the selling stockholder, intends to offer for sale in an underwritten secondary offering of 8.4 million shares of the company's Class A common stock per value of uh, 0.000001 one dollar, the Class A common stock uh, pursuant to the company's shelf registration statement filed with the Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC, of which the company intends to repurchase the uh, underwriter approximately $100 million of shares from our Class A common stock. The selling stockholder will receive all the net proceeds from this offering. No shares are being sold by the company. In connection with the offering, Ari Emanuel, the company's chief executive officer and director, Mark Shapiro, the company's president, chief operating officer and director, and certain other of the company's directors have indicated an interest in purchasing up to $1 million, $1 million and $850,000 respectively of the company's Class A common stock offered in the offering at the public offering price. Morgan Stanley and Co. LLC will act as a book running manager for this offering. MUFG Securities Americas Inc. will act as the co-manager for this offering. A shelf registration statement on Form S1, including a prospectus relating to the offering of Class A common stock has been declared effective by the Securities and Exchange Commission. The offering will be made only by means of a prospectus uh, supplement and accompanying prospectus. You may obtain these by going to the website, etc., etc. Uh, this press release shall not constitute an offer to sell or the solicitation of an offer to buy, nor shall there be any sale of these securities in any uh, state uh, or other jurisdiction in which such an offer, solicitation or sale would be unlawful prior to the registration or qualification under the securities laws, uh, uh, any such state or other jurisdiction. Now, obviously, that's, there's a lot of words there and it's a lot of businesses and it's a press release filled with lots of Wall Street stuff. So what's the kind of key crux of this? Well, World Wrestling Entertainment's founder, Vince McMahon, is offering to sell 8.4 million shares of the TKO, the company's common stock, and the company is expecting to buy back about $100 million worth of it. TKO Group stock actually fell 5% in extended hours trading after the announcement. McMahon will offer the stock in an underwritten secondary offering and receive all proceeds. No stock is being sold by the company or anything like that. Now, as the press release mentioned, you may have seen it in there, heard it in there, TKO CEO Ari Emanuel, the Chief Operating Officer Mark Shapiro, and certain other directors have indicated uh, an interest in buying up to $1 million, $1 million, and $850,000 worth of stock from the offering, respectively. Some are kind of looking at it as maybe as a payoff to Vince McMahon. Now, the merger of McMahon's WWE with Endeavor's uh, mixed martial arts operation UFC resulted in the creation of TKO Group Holdings. As I mentioned, this is a developing story, and certainly um, this move could be seen, certainly CNBC are uh, saying this move could be seen as an indication that McMahon plans to get out of the family business. Now, it was reported earlier this year that Vince McMahon had 
made sure that his stock was available to being sold. And at the time, some did view that as possibly Vincent Mann giving himself the opportunity to get out of the business if indeed that's what he wished to do. Of course, it's been a pretty up and down past 18 to 12 months for Vincent Mann. Of course, he was in his previous roles as the CEO and chief executive of WWE, executive chairman of the board rather. And then, of course, we had the scandal, the hush money scandal uh, and all that kind of stuff. He then retired. He then forced his way back into the company earlier this year, back onto the board of directors to seemingly go after this sale of the company and also uh, be part of the, the negotiations for the media rights agreements. This has all happened now, but his real aim to get back into creative hasn't really worked out. Recent reports had suggested that Endeavor, particularly Ari Emanuel, had given 99.9% of creative power to Paul Levesque in WWE as opposed to Vince McMahon, and he would be working on bigger picture things. We've seen McMahon working on said bigger picture things with helping the UFC get a big event in Saudi Arabia in March next year. However, we have seen recently, and certainly in recent weeks, particularly at the Francis Ngannou Tyson Fury fight in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, that Vincent Mann is looking considerably different, and maybe some are describing him as more frail following the spinal surgery he went underwent earlier this year, walking around with a cane and looking in considerable pain. Some people are suggesting, again, this could be the beginning of the end when it comes to Vincent Mann's involvement on a day to day basis with WWE and the TKO group as well. As I mentioned, the selling of this 8.4 million of his shares in TKO is about 30% of the company shares that he currently holds. So again, this is a big chunk. It's not every share that he has in the company, but certainly 30% is a significant amount for Vince McMahon. So what are your thoughts on this story? Of course, if we get any more information on it, what it means, the behind the scenes politics of it, if it does mean that Vincent Mann's essentially done with TKO and WWE, of course, we'll let you know in a future video. As I mentioned, it's a developing and breaking news story. Is this a case of maybe McMahon not being happy with the lack of creative power that he has in WWE? Is it a case of him realizing that he has to slow down because his body is starting to break down after undergoing spinal surgery? Is it a case of Endeavor, that being Ari Emanuel and Mark Shapiro saying that it's not going to work with Vince McMahon and the company, therefore they're buying his stock from him and... I guess, making him whole on the way out. What do you think this is all about? Let me know your thoughts, predictions, and takes in the comments section below. Now, I do also want to talk about AEW Dynamite. The ratings are out for Dynamite last night on TBS. And last night's episode of AEW Dynamite on TBS drew an average of 804,000 viewers, which is down from 832,000 last week, but above the 774,000 from two weeks ago. The 10-week rolling average is 833,000 viewers. One year ago this week, though, it drew 1.038 million viewers, so 224,000 more viewers than this week's episode. The rolling 10-week average one year ago through this week was 1.021 million viewers, so close to 200,000 above the current 10-week rolling average. Two years ago this week, 913,000 uh, viewers it drew, and the 10-week rolling average was 1.001 million viewers, so basically 1 million viewers, so still considerably down year on year. In the core 1849 demographic, Dynamite drew a 0.27 rating, down from a 0.28 last week, but above a 0.24 from the prior week. The current 10-week rolling average is a 0.29. One year ago this week, it drew a 0.32 demo rating, and the 10-week rolling average was a 0.33. Two years ago this week, it drew a 0.35 demo rating, and the 10-week rolling average was a 0.38. Dynamite ranked number 10 in the key demographic last night among all shows on cable and broadcast television, and number two on cable overall with only an NBA game on ESPN, drawing a bigger demo rating. The NBA game averaged 835,000 viewers. The top-rated shows on all of television were the country musical Awards on ABC, followed by Survivor on CBS and the Republican presidential debate on NBC. The NBA game finished fourth overall. Three shows on Univision finished in the top 10. So, the question does become, what do you think of the ratings for Dynamite? Is this just the kind of range that they're in? And what does AEW need to do to get Dynamite back above a million viewers? Can they even do that? Can they even get back to above a million viewers? Or is that just frankly impossible, given the damage that maybe some of the backstage politics and some of the backstage drama and incident has had on maybe the perception of AEW over the last 12 months? Let me know your thoughts about that too in the comment section below. As I mentioned, guys, if we get any more information regarding Vince McMahon, his future, or anything like that, we will break it in a future video. So be sure to subscribe, bottom right-hand corner. Click that notification bell because certainly there could be a lot more to that Vincent Mann story. Be sure to smash a like on the like button. Be sure to subscribe, bottom right-hand corner. And I'll speak to you again very, very soon. 
Hey guys, thank you for watching, listening, streaming, or however you come across this video today. Be sure to click on the video on the right there to watch our next video, or click the bottom there to subscribe, or the bottom right-hand corner. Thank you very much, and I'll speak to you again very soon.